just finished installing the split charger relay. So just down here, we've got our first positive coming off the battery to our first fuse, which has got a 100 amp bit in there connecting it to our long four meter positive wire. That goes through this first little wiring grommet here. And I made a custom one just at the back, just down here for that to go through to the cab. You'll be able to see it through there. Yeah, that's so well, but that comes through just up there, just up in there, and that comes down just under the carpet and around the step into the back. We've connected it up to the split charger there, which we're just going to have to sit there up to the ledge battery. So yeah, just got to finish a few little bits for the split charger, but should all be done. So we're going to start the van, see if it all works. Just a little update, we decided a bit last minute that we are going to have a 240 hookup point. Um, it wasn't until I, can, I discovered that you can actually hook these up and saw them underneath the bonnet, so, so we didn't want to have a horrible little flap sticking out on the side. So that's on there, we took it through the same route as the split charge just through there, into the front cab. So I brought it down through here and then I rooted it under the passenger seat past all the ledge battery around the back of the fridge and we installed a consumer unit along with our 12 volt fuse box and the consumer unit we have is just a garage consumer unit it's got a 32 amp which you're going to be running everything off so when we hook up we'll have our refrigerator um, 12 volt refrigerator for when we're a bit off grid and then we've got another 12 volt socket this side um, just for when it's nice we can hopefully like cook outside because we want to get it a induction hob <coughs> we have another 240 plug socket up there to cook in our nice new kitchen area we've also got a double USB socket here and also a USB with a USB type C socket here and it helps out because we can tell which fault we've got on the battery so yeah got our fan that all now works that's all wired in and we've got one more just at the front or at the back just near Bex which again is just another USB with a USB Type-C as well. So yeah. Fans working? Oh! And we are charging! 
Oh yes.